Hi guys and welcome to another week of new releases and sneak peeks. I say another week, I haven't been around for a couple of weeks, apologies. Um, I'm going to crack right on because there is a lot to get through and it is mostly Halloween themed new releases. Super, super excited. So let's move me to the side. What that do? I'll do. Um, then I can pop the pictures up here. So the first thing I have to talk about isn't a Halloween release, but I did want to give it a mention. I love the look of the swatches. So Glaminatrix Cosmetics have just dropped their Glamorous palette and it retails for $57. I believe that's US dollars. Um, it's available now for pre-order. There's 12 pounds duochromes mattes and shimmers i love the look of this and whilst i don't believe it's halloween themed it does look very halloween themed it's got a very i think halloweeny color story i love the look of it um yeah it's beautiful let me know what you guys think of this if you've picked it up or pre-ordered it let me know the next thing I have to talk about is from Spellbound Beauty. I do have a palette from Spellbound Beauty, which I love. Please excuse, I don't know if you can hear him snoring, but Jace, my puppy, is laid next to me, snoring his little heart out. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, so they have, is it available now? Yes, um, it's available now. They've released their Witchcraft eyeshadow palette. There are 15 shades, mattes and duochromes. Love the look of these swatches. 25 US dollars. Oh, such a good price. This looks stunning. Yeah, I love the look of this. Those duochromes. The swatches look amazing. Love the outer packaging. If you know me, you know I'm a sucker for cool packaging. It, yeah, it gets me. It gets me, um, but I love the look of this and I think 25 US dollars, that's a really good price, I think, in my personal opinion. Um, so I'm gonna move on, let me know what you guys think. Um, this one is not a Halloween release, but I've got to mention it because Barbie was a huge part of my childhood. So Glamlight Cosmetics have collabed with Barbie. Um, is it available now? I don't know. It says here, experience the ultimate fun vacay with the iconic Barbie X Glam Light collaboration inspired by the Barbie lifestyle and love for vibrant eyeshadow colours. This 24 colour palette is everything you need to open the doors to display your dream life looks. Imagine the possibilities you have with a palette where you can create anything like Barbie says anything is possible. Now is your time to create and display your Barbie beach ready looks to the world. It's 40 US dollars. Um, yeah. I love the color story and yeah, I think it's, they've done a great job Barbie themed. Yeah. I love the look of it. I love glam light. I have a few glam light palettes. I love them. Um, so yeah, I, I really wanted to give this a mention because although it's not Halloween themed, it's still a cool theme. I think so. Um, so let me know if you're going to be picking that up. The next release is a Halloween release is from Beauty Bay. I have ordered this. It is going to be arriving tomorrow. Um, this is their new dark fantasy palette. It has just dropped. It's... The way they do it, they don't give you a date and a time, it just appears one day. Um, I love the look of this, I'm super excited to get it and play with it. Um, as many of you all know, I love the Beauty Bay formula, um, both the mattes and the shimmers. And yeah, I think this is a beautiful Halloween colour story and I'm super excited to get it and play with it. Um, let me know if you're going to be picking this up also yeah i'm super excited guys um so let's move on because i've got so many things to talk about um so melt cosmetics have, have they launched these yet coming soon 
Okay, I don't think they're launched yet. So Milk Cosmetics have revealed their Bad Side Zodiac Mini Eyeshadow Palettes. This is part of the Bad Side Zodiac Collection. So you've got four mini eyeshadow palettes um, with an array of creamy mattes and metallic shimmers inspired by the negative traits of the four elements of the Zodiac. Um, I love the look of these. I am a water sign. Not that I generally go by signs that much. I say that, I, I probably do a bit. I'm a Scorpio. Um, I love the look of all of these. I think they've done a great job colour story wise. And yeah, they're, they're super cute. Have we got prices here? Nope, just coming soon. So yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think they've done a good job with the colour stories? So next up is another Halloween release. This is Gourmand Girls and it is a collab with Doodles by the Bunny. I have followed Doodles by the Bunny on Instagram for such a long time. She is just so incredibly creative, beautiful. Yeah, I have her collab with Milan Rowe. Love that. I love Gourmand Girls. Um, as a lot of you will already know, I've ordered this. I cannot wait to receive it and start playing with it. The shifty shades just, they look divine. I'm so excited, so excited. So I'm going to be excited. The design is beautiful. Outer packaging is beautiful. The imprints in the shadows. I love the color story. Um, let me know if you're going to be picking it up. It looks beautiful. Um, then we are moving on to Wicked Sisters Cosmetics. I do have a palette from them that I haven't tried yet. Love the look of these new palettes. So there, it, there are three? I want to say three. Yes, three. So we've got the Witch Board, um, which is more your browns and orangey shades by the looks of it. Then the Birthday Palette. Come We Fly, Hocus Pocus inspired. Um, that looks to be like some neutrals, oranges, pink and purple, green. And then there is the Weird Ghosts eyeshadow palette, uh, which is Beetlejuice inspired. Um, that one, again, seems to have some neutrals, some greens, purple, black. Yeah, these look beautiful. I'm a sucker for anything Halloween themed. I love Halloween. Um, my birthday falls around Halloween, so it's just huge for me. Um, I love it. I love the designs. I think they've done a great job. These are launching on the 30th of September, 6pm EST. Um, it does say that, meanwhile, the entire site is on sale. Use code WICKEDSISTERS25 at checkout for 25% off your cart. Um, okay, yeah, I... I think they've done a great job. I love the look of them. I love the outer packaging. Let me know what you guys think. Next up is a non-Halloween release, I believe. Um, this is from JC Cosmetics and they have revealed their Mexico en la piel collection. So there's the eyeshadow palette. It's got 30 shades, matte shimmers and glitter, retailing for $44.99 US dollars. There is a highlighter palette that looks beautiful uh, that retails for $44.99 US dollars. There's a brush set, 15 pieces, $49.90 and a mirror for $9.99. Yeah, I, I think this is a beautiful looking collection. I love the look of the palette. It does remind me a little bit of the um, Juvia's Place Culture palette. I want to say that just by looking at it, just that's what comes to mind. Um, I think this is a beautiful looking collection. Love the look of the highlighter palette. Um, yeah, I wanted to give it a mention because I think it's a cute collection. The next new launch is from Sugar Drizzle Polish is their Trick Raw Treat palette. I love that. It launches on the 2nd of October. Um, it is limited edition. This is super cute. It's super cute. I love the design on the front. You've got the, wow, 
what would be E.T. design but with a dinosaur on a bike. I love it. I love this design. It's so cute. The colour story is a really cute colour story. Retails for $28.95 US dollars. There are three duo slash multi-chromes and two matte. Missing something there because that is five. I'm guessing it's three mats. Yes, three mats. Three duo stroke multichromes and two mats. Three mats. Three mats. Wow, what's wrong with me? Um, I love the look of this. This is super cute. And the dinosaur on the push bike going across the moon has me. It's so cute. And a really nice Halloween themed colour story. Love the look of this. I still haven't tried anything from Sugar Drizzle Polish yet. I will get around to it. Um, I don't know if I'll be picking this up. I've overspent on Halloween releases already. But I do love the look of this. So I did want to give it a mention. And then on to a collection where I do have some of the items on the way to me. And I have the mirror. So yes, I'm talking about the Makeup Revolution and Beetlejuice collab. Um, this collection is gorgeous. I have all three eyeshadow palettes, the highlighter palette. They're all on their way to me. And obviously I have the mirror. I think that's all I ordered. Because I do want to order the mascara. They've got a green mascara in the collection. But... It's not available yet. It's just coming soon on the website. So I don't know if it's sold out instantly. Yeah, this is a super cool collection. I am Beetlejuice mad. I love Beetlejuice. I have the recently deceased palette from their Beetlejuice and Melt Cosmetics collab. Really wish I'd have got the other palette, the waiting room, but I didn't. Yeah. Anyways. I have all of these palettes coming. I'm super excited. So you've got the larger palette, which is, I believe it's Showtime. Um, that's got a really nice mix of purples, greens. It It's a beautiful colour story and very Beetlejuice themed, you would hope. Yes, it is. Um, but yeah, the, the big palette looks absolutely gorgeous. You've got the little bug shaped pans. Love that beetle shaped pans bugs beetles um there is the i myself am strange and unusual palette which is kind of your reds and then there is the house palette which is the, the purples the highlighter palette is the handbook for the recently deceased which is i had to have that i had to um if you are a fan of beetlejuice then you, you will get my excitement. Um, but there's a few other things. There's eyeliner pencil collection. There's water activated liners, face powder, um, blending sponge brushes. It's a really nice collection. I think they've done a great job. I'm super excited for my palettes to arrive. I'm really hoping I love the formula, but if I don't, it's okay. There will be display pieces. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I love the look of this collection and I'm so excited for my pieces to arrive. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think they did a good job? I think they did. So moving on, we are with MBA Cosmetics. Um, they have, it's available for pre-order on their website now. Their Pumpkin Kisses and Autumn Wishes palette. Oh, it's cute. Love the design on the outer packaging um yeah this is gorgeous love the look of this it doesn't give a price here i'm loving the look of that orange shimmer that looks beautiful it looks actually is that it looks like there's a couple of shifty shades there oh interesting yeah i love the look of this beautiful Halloween release. Love it. Let me know what you guys think. Moving on, Makeup Maniacs Cosmetics have revealed, released, 
they're new dazzle chromes it come they come in a range of shades they look absolutely stunning really shifty really sparkly i love the look of them i'm a sucker for anything duochrome multi-chrome these look super sparkly yeah um, it does say here that feel free to use promo code WELCOME20 at checkout. Um, you can use that on these Dazzle Chromes. Yeah, I like the look of these. Let me know what you think. Then moving on to Deadly Sins Cosmetics. They've revealed their three new lipstick shades. There is Medusa, which is the green one, Protector, the petal pink, and Cursed, the deep purple um available friday the 23rd of september what's the date today oh okay yep they're available now i haven't got a clue what the date is i'm so bad <laughs> i love the look of all three shades obviously the green more so but no all three shades are beautiful let me know what you think um, if you're going to be picking any of these up, I love the look of them. Um, it doesn't have a price here. I believe they're based in Australia. Interesting. I think I'm going to have to have a look into this brand a little bit more. Let me know what you think. I'm going to move on to Chaotic Cosmetics because they have their Halloween XL lashes. Um, are these available now? No, launching on October the 10th. The limited edition only, but oh my god, these look awesome. So we've got Spooky Junkie up the top, then Mood Swings, Walking Dead and Hocus Pocus. I love the look of all of these. These look awesome. I think Hocus Pocus and Mood Swings, no, I love all of them. I think they look awesome. Um, I have some Halloween Lashes. Um, coming my way that I've picked up so I'm not looking for any more we have a Mr Fluff hi hi I'm trying to film yeah yep we are we gonna try and do this with you it's a Halloween themed therefore the black cat comes out okay well Mr Fluff let me know what you guys think of the Halloween lashes um Mr. Fluff, you're not helping. You're not helping. Um, so, moving on. Right, okay. You've got your claw caught in my jumper. Moving on. Lethal Cosmetics have sneak peeks. They've got something new coming um, on the 28th of September. Super excited to find out. It says, the one contact we are looking forward to. Can you guess what's going to happen? I have no idea, but I'm excited. I love Lethal Cosmetics. And yeah, looking forward to seeing what this is. So let me know what your guesses are. I have no idea. Really, Mr. Fluff? You're really not helping matters here. So next up, Fantasy Cosmetica. I've heard them talked about so much recently. So I'm super intrigued by the brand. Um, but this is their, <laughs> the Bard palette love the outer packaging it's super nice um it has nine shades there's four mattes three duochromes one multi-chrome and one shimmer retails for 38.99 us dollars it will be launching on september the 29th at 9 a.m pst um i love the look of this palette and like i said i've i've heard the name fantasy cosmetica talked about a lot recently <laughs> mr fluff you're really not helping me All right can we just sit still please please yeah look, come here sit still i love you too um yeah i i love the look of this i now have my eye on the brand um mr fluff you really can can we sit down please please thank you um yeah, I think this is a really cool colour story. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I haven't actually watched any videos of um, anyone using the palettes from 
Fantasy Cosmetica yet. Um, I do have some saved in my watch later list. list of love. Um, but yeah, I love the look of this. Another gorgeous Halloween release. Okay, moving on. I got super excited when I heard that Lottie London had collabed with The Vampire Diaries. This is a programme I've seen every episode, love them, so excited, and then I saw the reveal. And I... The idea of the lipstick and the blush being colour changing love that idea but to pink um no it, it it doesn't make me think halloween it makes me think girly um but anyways that aside then there's the palette um the palette is called the love sucks eyeshadow palette um Retails for $9.98 US dollars if you're in the US. Oh, Mr. Fluff, can we sit still, please? I I find the eyeshadow palette boring, if I'm honest. Sorry, guys. Um, Yeah, I find the eyeshadow palette boring. I, I won't be picking it up. I think that there was so much more they could have done with the Vampire Diaries theme. They didn't. Um, that's just my personal opi personal opinion. My own thoughts. For you, this may be, you think they've done a great job. Um, personally, I was gutted. But, again, that's just me. That's just my opinion. And if you love it, that's wonderful. Oh, Moon Stamp Liner Duo. I didn't actually see that. Um, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm disappointed and I won't be picking it up. I hate to talk badly about things, but I, yeah, I don't think they did a really good job. I'm going to move on. Um, Please don't hate on me, it's just my opinion. I'm going to move on to a sneak peek. And this is from Clarity Cosmetics. Um, so they have sneak peeked their Croc palette. It will launch for Black Friday. Sounds amazing to me. Uh, Black Friday, I can't wait for Black Friday. Who else is excited? Um, but I just have here, um, just, picture of well I'm watching a video so I will get a screenshot of the outer packaging I won't show you inside because it's just empty pans at the moment um but yeah I'm intrigued I'm really intrigued I haven't tried anything from Clarity Cosmetics I really want to this has me intrigued we will wait and see what the colour story is like so hopefully I will be chatting with you guys about this palette very soon Okay, next up, Colourpop Cosmetics have introduced their Disney Hocus Pocus 2 collection. It's already launched. Um, there's a £15 palette, mascara, um, lip glosses, jelly much shadows, shimmering body powder, and cat ear hair accessories. Yeah, I love the look of it. I do have not their first Hocus Pocus collab palette and um, I do have their smaller Hocus Pocus themed one um, which I haven't used yet. I will be using it um, in the month of October because I will be digging out all of my Halloween themed makeup and just trying to use everything. I would actually say I think I prefer this to the um, first collab palette that they did um, which I think was called Gather Round Sisters was it? Yeah, I think I I think I prefer the colour story in this one. Um yeah, I think it's a beautiful collection. Yeah, I love Hocus Pocus. It is another Halloween film that is a favourite of mine. I adore I adore them. The Sanderson sisters love them. Yeah, I love the look of the collection. Let me know if you have picked up 
any of this collection what do you think of it do you think they've done a good job do you prefer the first collab palette this one let's have a chat um yeah i do love the look of it okay guys another collab another collab release that is not halloween themed but is another just childhood childhood love of mine um so hip dot have dropped their collab with the care bears oh my god these are super cute so there are four they are little care bear shaped figures that are the eyeshadow is molded into the shape of a care bear they're so cute they come in these little stands like egg stands oh my god i love them sculpted pigments is what they've called them I should have actually read it. They retail for 16 US dollars each or 56 US dollars for the full set. There's Cheer Bear, Funshine Bear, Share Bear and Grumpy Bear. Share Bear was my favourite as a kid. I had, I don't even know what happened to it. I had the cuddly toy of Share Bear. <laughs> Purple one. Um, yeah, these are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't say if they're limited edition. I hope not because, yeah, I really want to pick at least one of these up. At least Share Bear, just for the memories. Um, yeah, I, I'm a sucker for the gimmicky stuff. As most of you will know, and Care Bears is one of my all-time favourites. I have the Care Bears the Movies 1 and 2 on DVD. I bought them for my daughter to watch growing up. I was reliving my childhood along with my daughter. But yeah, so she was raised with the same Care Bears movies that I was. Yeah, let me know what you think of how they've gone about this. I love it. I think it's, I just think it's brilliant. Okay, so Bella Butte Bar, I have the inside of the Strange and Unusual palette pictures up here oh my god i love it um it did say restocked for pre-order but it does say here pre-order now closed item will be restocked again in limited quantities later i really really want this i really really want this i'm going to be keeping my eye out it's beautiful it is of course um beetlejuice themed love that he does say more the color story is amazing love the look of the swatches i really really want it, it retails for 69 us dollars yeah I, I love the look of this it is stunning i love it let me know if any of you guys managed to order this palette do you have this coming yeah the swatches look amazing they really look amazing the outer packaging is amazing I'm going to move on so next up guys is an update which for me is really sad so Yvette Beauty is closing down um due to personal re reasons Mylene has had to make this decision um as a lot of you all know I adore Yvette Beauty the pressed glitter formula is my favorite and Mylene is such a, a beautiful wonderful person and yeah, I think this is a really, really sad loss to the indie brand community. Um, I do wish Marlene all the all the best wishes and luck in the world for wherever her life takes her. Um, I'm hoping to keep in touch with how she's doing. Like I said, she's such a wonderful person and she has put her everything into this brand yeah guys it's i'm i'm super sad i'm super sad um yeah wishing mylene all the best and i'm sure that whichever direction her life takes her in will just be filled with love because she she's just such a giving loving person and she deserves all of the same right back and i'm sure she will get that I am sad though. I'm sad to see the brand close, but excited for Marlene and the future that the future that she deserves. 
Um, yeah, I thought I would make you all aware of the update. I do know that her shop will be remaining open until everything has sold out. So if there was anything from Yvette Beauty that you really wanted to pick up, now is the time. Um, grab it before it's gone because once it's sold out, that's it. It won't be coming back. Um, yeah, moving away from the sad news, um, on to Dark Gem Beauty. Um, so this is their Halloween Forever. It's not just a season. Our new palette with nine pigmented shades made for the spookiest crafted in a cruelty-free and vegan lab with the most ethical practices. Um, it's already launched. This is, I love the coffin shape. I love the color story. This is a video. I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me there. I could see the smoke moving. I really can see the smoke moving. <laughs> with me um I really can yes no my eyes are not playing tricks on me it really is moving I will get a screenshot of this to put up but just know that what I'm looking at the smoke is moving um yeah I love the look of this color story um love the theme I love the the promo this video going on here with the candle and the little skulls and the the moving smoke um, that as you see it, it's not moving. I promise you, it's moving. It is moving. Um, yeah, I love the look of this. Another, in my opinion, really amazing Halloween palette. Love it. And then moving on to Unearthly Cosmetics. Um, I love Unearthly Cosmetics. So I believe these are all already available. Yes, they are. So there is the 12 pan palettes so there is 1964 um so strange and the weirdos um they are the three 12 pan palettes and then there is the warms my blood 20 pan palette um so the 12 pan palettes are 50 us dollars each and the 20 pan palette is 70 us dollars um i love the look of well i love the look of all of them in particular for me the weirdos because yeah the craft another one of my favorite films Halloween themed um the so strange palette also has my heart Beetlejuice themed um the others look absolutely stunning but yeah I'm particularly interested in the so strange and the weirdos palettes gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i love unearthly cosmetics the low light highlighter palette guys if you know me this is gonna come as no surprise but in the low light palette the extraterrestrial highlight shade is my absolute favorite highlighter shade ever it is my favorite i have a huge dip today i'm actually wearing low light from that palette highlighter yeah i adore unearthly cosmetics and i think that they've done an amazing job with these palettes yeah amazing as always i'm hoping to pick up at least one we will see um let me know if any of you guys have picked up any of these palettes what do you think of them do you think they've done a great job personally i do I think I think she's done an amazing job absolutely amazing yeah let me know what you think and if you picked any of these up okay guys so profusion cosmetics have revealed their rituals Halloween collection um some of the products are available already um it does say most items between 4 and 18 US dollars I love the look of this collection. I think they have done a fantastic job. I love the extra details. You've got the larger palette, which is face and eye. You've got the nine pan palette, which is your, your purples and your black. I love the look of that. I love the look of all of this. I think 
I think this is a really beautiful collection. Um, looks like there's a mirror, lipsticks, um, it's like devil horns headband, mascara, liners. Yeah, I think this looks absolutely gorgeous. Is that a setting spray? I have no idea. But I love the look of all of this. I will be having a look to see if I can pick any of this up in the UK. If I can, I will more than likely pick up at least something, possibly a couple of things. Um, Profusion are a really affordable brand. Yeah, let me know if uh, this has caught your attention. Are you gonna be picking anything up? I know that my daughter loves the Profusion eyeshadow formula. Um, she assures me it's amazing, so I'm going to take a word for it. And yeah, if I can, I'll be picking up at least something from this collection. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think they've done a great job? I, I Personally, I think they've done a fantastic job. I love the look of it. Yes, I am going to move on to Nomad Cosmetics, who have released their Autumn in the Hudson Valley palette consists of 15 shades, 12 mattes and 3 blazing shimmers. I have ordered this, it is on its way to me. I love Nomad Cosmetics, I get every palette they come out with. Um, they always do such an amazing job of the colour stories, the details, the themes. It's always around a place that they've been to and love. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. So yes, as soon as this arrives, I will be filming with it. It looks stunning. Let me know if any of you guys have picked this up. Yeah, I, I can't wait. Next up, Coloured Rain have dropped their Thunder palette. Oh my god, I love the look of this. Retails for 25 US dollars. Um, it consists of 12 icy blue and grey shades, from buttery foils to bold mattes. I love the look of this. This looks stunning. Um, yeah, that kind of mauve grey on the far right of the middle row. Love the look of that. Um, yeah, looking at the swatches. Swatches look amazing. Yeah, I would really like this. I have seen the Steph's Beauty Stash. Um, she has this and I'm pretty sure I saw that she'd uploaded a video. And I'm pretty sure it's on my Watch Later playlist. Um, but yeah, I love the look of this. I definitely will be heading over to Steph's video to check out what she thinks of it. Um, but yeah, just judging by the colour story and the swatches, I love the look of it. Let me know what you guys think. Next up is from Chaotic Cosmetics and this is their Deadly Dreamer eyeshadow and highlighter palette. There are 12 shades, 8 pigmented matte and four duochrome highlighter shades. The four on the bottom of the duochrome highlighter shades. Um, it says they can also be used on the eyes and lips as well. It retails for 45 US dollars and it will be launching on October the 2nd. I think this is gorgeous. I love the multi-use aspect of things. Um, yeah. It's a beautiful colour story. I think it's well matched to the outer packaging. Yeah, great job. I love the look of it. That green. That green. That's a very Steph green. Yes. I haven't tried anything from Chaotic Cosmetics as yet. They're on my radar and wish list. Um, yeah, I love the look of this palette. Apologies, Jace is snoring again. I love the look of this palette. Let me know what your thoughts are and if you're going to be picking it up. Next up we have Notoriously Morbid, um, which is a brand that my beautiful friend Katie of Makeup For Lost Time, she loves this brand. Um, this eyeshadow palette is their Rusted Essence palette. So there are mattes and duochromes or, and multichromes. Retails for $24.99 US dollars. I love love this colour story. It is a proper full themed, Halloween themed colour story. It is stunning. So the Mystic Metallics and the Mystic Mattes are lipsticks. Oh, 
That Hallow's Eve looks amazing. Also the highlighters. Oh, creepy green highlighter. I love the look of that. Yeah. I, I think this is a gorgeous Halloween collection. Love the look of it. Love the outer packaging. I feel like a broken record. Um, I'm loving the Halloween releases. And yeah, this is no exception. So let me know what you guys think and if you're going to be picking any of this up. Next up is a new collection from Wicked Widow Beauty. And the collection will include the Alternative palette. I love the look of this palette love the look of it it's in the shape of like a, a cowgirl boot <laughs> love that um so there are five mattes for duochromes one shimmer um two eyeliners and two liquid lipsticks it says coming soon yeah i love the look of this i love the color story i love the design yeah this is super cute i love everything about this the name, the colour story, the design, everything about this. I think this is super cute. Um, don't have any prices here. I definitely have my eye on this. Let me know what you think. And then next up we have For Art's Sake Cosmetics. And this is their Scream palette. It's their or mini Scream palette. So it's a four shade eyeshadow palette inspired by Edvard munch's composition the scream this palette is packed with four pigmented shades perfect for the spooky season this is really cute i love the shades that they have chosen i'm not much of a i prefer more shades in a palette but i can appreciate this for the beauty that it is um love the color selection i think they've done a great job there let me know what you think if you're going to pick this up and then finally, the final release to talk about. So this is the Hallowed Ground collection from Forest Seng Cosmetics. Um, wow. I, I love the outer packaging. It is super spooky. And <laughs> I love that inside there are these bright colours. I wouldn't say it's your traditional Halloween theme colour story. But I love it. I love it. And what else is there? So there's the Hallowed Ground Eyeshadow Palette, which retails for $24.99 US dollars. The Hallowed Ground Hand Mirror, which retails for $9.99. That looks cute. Uh, the Reaper Lip Balm. <laughs> That's cute. The Don't Mess With Witches Tumbler. Um, and the Don't Mess With Witches sweater. Yeah, I love the look of this collection. I think they've done a great job. Everything looks all spooky. And then you've got the surprise of the, the bright colours in the eyeshadow palette. I love that they're doing things a bit different. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been a long one. Some amazing Halloween releases. Let me know what you guys think. I'm super excited for the... Halloween season, the spooky season. I'm going to be going all out Halloween on my channel throughout the whole of October. So if you are new and you love Halloween themed looks, etc., then please make sure you're subscribed and um, ready for my month of Halloween. I'm so excited. Um, Oh, I've bought in the face paints and everything. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get started. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the Halloween releases. Have you picked any up? Are you going to be picking any up? What do you think of the Halloween season? Are you a fan? Let me know. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.